me out of here. <laughs> get me out of here. In the comments of the Poughkeepsie tapes, a few of you told me to watch Megan is Missing. And that is in fact what we're going to do today. <laughs> this movie's been on my list for a very long time. And all I really know about it are a few of my favorite things. It's found footage and it's supposed to be incredibly disturbing. In fact, that was most of your points regarding the Poughkeepsie tapes. Like if you think this is bad, go watch Megan is Missing. I always feel like I'm really, really brave. And then we get into it and I am a big old weenie. But I also secretly love it. So I'm excited. Let's get into it. Thank you. The following film is based on actual events. Is it really? Is it really Blair Witch? On January 14th, 2007, Megan Stewart disappeared. Three weeks later, her best friend, Amy Herman, also vanished. This film was assembled using cell phone transmissions, computer files, home videos, and public news reports. Oh, color me excited. That's my kind of movie, not the bold. Ooh, I'm interested. I'm invested. Tuesday, January 2nd, 2007. I'd like to know who came up with the stupid rule. That you have to go back to school the very next day after New Year's. Like Easter. At least then I wouldn't feel so wasted. <laughs> so wasted. Virgins don't know how to wear makeup. Oh, come on. I didn't mean anything by it. Just some guy and get it over with. You're a ho. H-O ho. Jealousy talking. Blah, blah, blah. It's very there. 2007. <laughs> Megan Stewart. I was still playing in no, the fucking good. mud. <laughs> Can you save me some? Um, no. You party every night. What's so special about one night? <laughs> Kenan wants to know what you're willing to do for it. Come on, Maggie. There's no secrets between me and you. How old is that man? He looks too old. He looks way too old. Damn it, Maggie! Why did my program record? I forgot to plug it back in. You forgot? You forgot? And all I have is all you want to do is program it. Hey, I'm not here. Well, that was awful. Awful in every angle. Oh my God. I feel bad for Megan. We can just hang out. I can't. I have to do stuff with my mom. Okay, well, if you need anything, call me, okay? Uh, she's I'll a good friend. Yeah. So what's it gonna be, Maggie? Blow off these assholes and go hang out with Amy. We'll be right over. <laughs> Come in. Oh, she's practicing makeup because she wants to be, you know, a grown woman. Are you sure you don't want to have your birthday party there? Daddy's for kids. I'm used to like that. Oh. Try not to grow up too fast, okay? The absolute difference between this family home and Megan's family home. You can see why the girls are so different, you know? Atmosphere does a lot to a kid. All right, get ready for school. We'll talk about your present later, present. She said, now back to my makeup. <laughs> What's up, Ma? Party's on this weekend. And come by the crib around midnight, she'll be off the hook. No dudes. Why not? Because it's my party, it's my rules. That's fucking weird, dude. Party. Ben, can I bring Amy? This is a party, not church. You're not really gonna drag her along, are you? This makes me sad. Honestly, oh, well, Amy's the star of the show in my bed. <laughs> her birthday's coming up. Oh. Well, she's gonna get ass whooping if she comes to my party. Beat there her up because she's not cool. Ugh, I do not miss this timeline, this era. <laughs> Yeah, well, I got a reputation to think about. You bringing Amy along could take away that crown. Actually insane that, like, one girl could ruin a party. <laughs> you owe me for this. Not kidding. You're gonna be jumping hoops you want. If you're having a real party, honestly, you would have be having way too much fun to even realize that Amy is there. So, sounds to me like you're a loser. <laughs> I'm getting into fights with 14-year-olds. <laughs> oh, here they are. Come on, sweetheart. Ew. Oh, oh shit. The hot squad has arrived. This man belongs in prison. Also, it is like <laughs> becoming more and more clear to my head that I must have been an Amy. I was an Amy. I was playing in the mud, reading books and playing video games, quite honestly. <laughs> Don't worry, my wallflower princess. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's check this shit out, man. This party is off the hook. Is it? Is it? <laughs> like, I, besides your all's flashlights and glow sticks, I don't think there's electricity. Aren't you going to be late to your piano recital? Now, why the fuck did Megan even bring her here? Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. Amy, sweetie, do you have a way to go home? This isn't it. I just want to protect her. I just want to scoop her up and be like, girl, none of that shit's worth it. <laughs> so stupid. 
No, you're not. Oh, it was my fault. I shouldn't have brought you there. Absolutely not. I don't know why you're friends with me. Well, because I am, that's why. I will say that well, you know, while Megan is on the dark side of things, she's a good friend. Like, it's very sweet that she, you know, still is so invested in taking care of Amy. She might not show it in the best way, but, you know, like, she shouldn't have left Amy alone during that party at all. Or probably even invited her. What the too. fuck? It's Amy! I was talking to Amy! It's late. Go to sleep, Megan. Sorry. I hate it so much. I have to get out of here. If you go anywhere, I'm going with you. Oh God, not the beginning of the end. Yeah. You're my best friend. Well, you're my best friend too, Amy. Really? Megan, go to sleep now! God, it's so sad because it's just like, you can okay. see where a lot of Megan's problems come from. Good night, Good night Meg. It's sad. Hour on Amy's new video camera. Oh, her birthday present. Yeah, Why don't we do an interview, like your life story? My name is Megan Stewart, and I was born on August 12th. <laughs> she was born August for this role, Ryan. bitch. <laughs> um, I live with my mom. I am her pride and joy. That look dad, was sad. My stepfather's name is Paul. He's in prison. Did he do something nasty to her? <sighs> she even blamed me when he got sent to prison. Guys like me. I'll pretty much do what you want, but... You have to tell me that you love me. Okay, well, now I'm heartbroken. Now I want to scoop Megan up and keep her safe. Oh, this is going to go down a dark path. January 13th. Maybe sometime you want to hang out again? Lex, I'm just not, like, comfortable. Was that like a, like a dating hangout? I've been talking to this new guy named Josh. He's really cool. Um, he skateboards and he goes to Tolan. Hey, oh, you should check it out. It's Skater Dude. Photo of Josh Skater Dude found on Megan Stewart's computer. Oh, so Skater Dude is the one that we're gonna hate, isn't he? Josh of a cam. He does, but his little brother like busted it or something. Right, because he's catfishing. I understand where this is going now and I don't like it. <laughs> Hello, my name's Amy Herman and today's January 13, 2007. She's so sweet. This is Mr. Rupert. He's not my favorite bear. My favorite bear is Billy Bear. He's not here anymore. What happened to Billy Bear? What happened to Billy Bear? This is my cat, Charlie. He's actually older than me, which makes him like a hundred in cat years. I don't want anything bad to happen to this poor sweet girl. <laughs> That's my house. Thanks for joining me on the tour. Original vlogger. <laughs> Hello, hot chick. Ew, no. My name's Josh. I know. What's your name? Megan, so you go to Toland? Yeah, I want to go to school at all. The teachers suck there. They do at Alton, too. Oh, Alton, so we live near each other. Oh, stop giving him private personal she information. Hey, can you tilt your webcam down a little? No. I'm not putting on a show for you, freak. I don't know. I'm nothing. I'm sorry. The time of the internet and, like, chat rooms and shit like this before people, like, really understood things very innocently be like, well, yeah, his webcam doesn't work, but I don't mind turning Damn, mine on because he is who he says he is. He has a profile picture. His name is Skater Dude. So, you going to do the party tonight? I don't know. At least you get to see what I look like. Lexi gave you my picture, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a stalker. I am not. Ooh, I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> you should come tonight. We should hook up. Come on. I'll be hanging with my buds by the kitchen. You literally just met this guy. Like you've talked for five minutes. Please do not go hook up, please. Oh, that's right. They go missing on the 14th, right? And it's the 13th right now. Um, I decided at the last minute to go to Chase's party. I was talking to this kind of cool guy and he's going to be there. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. And she's not going to see her tomorrow? It's me, Amy, again. I want to find a nice dress for my prom. Oh my God. If someone asked me to his, then I should be prepared. I'm like, who's going to ask me, right? No, that was heartbreaking. Yeah. Hey. Oh, so they go missing on the 14th, so now, oh no. I was just wondering how it went with that guy. Was he cool? He, he wasn't, wasn't there. there. I looked for him for four hours. Okay, call me later. Okay, good night. Hey, hot chick. Oh, I hate it. Uh-oh, you sound pissed. I know, why would I be pissed? I was there. I was at that party for four hours, buddy. I look like an idiot. Well, I thought you looked great. Is he gonna tell her what she was wearing or something crazy oh like that? Uh, well, you had on black top with gold trim. Girl, Megan, it should be a warning flag to you that he knows what you were wearing and yet didn't talk to you and you didn't see him? Red flag. You looked incredible. I. I guess I just wimped out. You watched me? Yeah, kind of creepy, huh? No, it's kind of nice. No. Oh, God. I didn't, I didn't want to barge in and mess things up. You're shy. 
because she doesn't know, there's no reason for her to understand how dangerous this is. She doesn't understand the menace of the world, especially because the image in her head is like that cute little skater boy from the picture. So it's like, yeah, of course I'll be naive and gullible. And like, it is cute that he's shy. So Megan, would you like to meet up and maybe get some ice cream or something? <laughs> the movie will be over around like seven. You know, I'd love to meet your friend and everything. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Why don't you web me later around like 7.30? Okay, bye Josh. Bye. Hey, guess who I was just talking to? Lexi? <laughs> oh, Amy, <laughs> I love her. Josh, the big fat jerk who stood you up, Josh? He was just shy for four hours. Yes, Listen, Amy, lead her to the light. He remembered everything I was wearing last night. I'm gonna see him tonight after the movie. <laughs> of course she's not gonna know better. Okay, there he is. Okay, be cool. Hey, Megan, how's the movie? Hey, who's that? Hey, I'm Megan's best friend, Amy. Hey, Amy, I think I might have seen you around school before. Sometimes I just like to hang out at Alton because the girls are prettier. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I feel like a squirmy little worm and I want to be squashed because uh, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> so you still want to meet up and do something? I don't know. Why don't we meet behind the diner in like 20 minutes? How romantic. <laughs> Girl, how easy to take you. Uh, I would never hurt you, Megan. Do you trust me? Yes. I trust you too. No, 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 no. You know, no. A lot has happened in this movie and we're getting fairly close to the end. So my mind is going in a thousand directions just because everyone was like, this movie is really disturbing. Like if you think the Poughkeepsie tapes is bad, go watch Megan is Missing. It's like, I'm uncomfortable, but I haven't been pushed beyond the discomfort that the Poughkeepsie tapes gave me, which makes me horrified for what is about to come next. Cause we know she disappears on the 14th. I was just wanting to talk to Megan today. No, I haven't. Um, I Hey, Lexi. Sure you didn't dial the wrong number. Oh my God, I hate mean girls. Hey, Josh, have you heard from Megan at all? No, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Uh, and uh, she never showed up. Cause she hasn't been to school all day. And he has her, he has her right now, doesn't well, he? We talked and I thought we got along great and then she never showed up. Well, if you hear from her, will you love me? Yeah, sure. Oh, she's just so like sweet for being like, well, maybe this guy knows. And for sure, I can trust him. Child disappears every 40 seconds. The police need your help to solve these crimes. Not the news footage. My child is missing. The concept's not funny, but the, the fake ad is funny. Is she a runaway or is she the victim of foul play? Megan is missing. Oh, they said it. Good evening. Police have no leads in the baffling disappearance. Megan Stewart is a role model for many of our students here. I, I just want her to be brought back safe. This is so like real, her. but also like yeah. cringy yeah. fake. It's very funny. Megan Stewart is five feet, one inch tall. If you know anything regarding the whereabouts of this young girl, please contact North Hollywood Police. It's been four days since I've heard from Megan. I don't think she ran away. I hate to say it, Amy, honey, but I think I think Megan is not just missing, but Megan is it. probably dead. A stunning break in the case of missing teenager <gasps> Megan Stewart. Oh, they caught the abduction, not anything about. Diner. Okay. The footage clearly shows that she encounters a man who appears to lead her away. Well, we got a lucky break in the case. We obtained some surveillance footage. It took you motherfuckers five uh, days to find that. Yeah. So you think she may be a runaway? Well, we're looking at all possibilities. What? And when we return, a purebred Captain Spaniel accidentally drives his owner's car through a store window. <laughs> I hate that their first thought is, well, yeah, she probably just ran away. What about this looks like free will? What about this looks like it was planned? Yeah, she doesn't even look up to like recognize him because she wouldn't recognize him because that's a grown man. She's like, see him, don't care. Uh oh. That is not the face of somebody who is running away with someone. Hey, Josh. Hey, cute girl. Don't say that. You don't think you're cute? I'm all right. Mm, I think you're sexy. Ugh. Was that you in the video? Oh, what? shit, that Amy. Video. That was some old dude. So you didn't see her there? I think maybe she skipped out with that guy before I got there. You know, she seems kind of flaky. A, she's not flaky. B, weird that you knew exactly what she was talking about. You believe anything, won't you? think you know where she is. Trying to change the conversation won't change the facts. What facts? That you have no friends, that no one finds you attractive. <laughs> Would you like to have friends, Amy? I'm, I, I wish I could fight. <laughs> you don't know anything about me. 
You don't know who I am. Megan told me all about you. How pathetic you are. How you follow her around like a little puppy. Oh my god, that's awful. Literally call the cops. New revelations in the case of Megan Stewart. Police were given a statement. Good, Amy. Good girl. Amy Harmon mentioned a man named Josh. It's been too long. There's just, there's no way she's still alive. It's been too long and now it's like public knowledge that the cops have at least an idea of his alias, his online presence, which means they're probably five steps away from finding him. Well, it's because of you that she's not here. Right? Oh, fuck off. You gonna do sell this? Are you gonna sell this? You know what? Stay the fuck out of my face, bitch. You know, this is all your fault, right? Honey, sweetheart, you're the one that introduced him to Skater she Dude. Actually, that's probably why she's upset. I loved her back. I loved her so much. Oh, yeah. She also kind of had a thing for, oh, shit. Yeah, there's a lot God. underneath the anger that's got nothing to do with Amy. <laughs> there's nothing I can fucking do. Oh, well, now I feel bad. Megan and I used to come out of this bridge. You're really not alone, are you, honey? Because I... Oh, I'm terrified. Megan's so adventurous. I wish I was more like her. Let me show you something. <gasps> her favorite bear. Oh. This is Billy Bear. Bye. <laughs> Three years ago, my mom. So I keep him here and I can visit him whenever I want. No, 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 please. No, 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 no. I don't understand that. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to. There's so much weirdness out there. I'd just rather stay here with Billy. Oh, I hate, you can't even like tell that he's there anymore. But you know, he's, you, we know he's there. Who is this? I think you know. Get me out of here. <laughs> Get me out of here. You didn't say you kidnapped Megan. You just said you think I did. Then yeah. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> they can't find me. I can set up free screen names anywhere. Like Disconnect, Amy. Police. I may have to pay you a visit. I'm watching you, Amy. I don't like the silence. Well, we're filming the reenactment of an abduction. Why? Put in real work to find the girl. Maybe let's not reenact it? We believe an accurate reenactment bring about some clues that the police really haven't been able to touch on them. All right, whatever. Do your thing. But like, maybe get off the fucking news until you do something worthwhile. I mean, I can't even imagine that this happened. In the past, your personal feelings is trying to make it real for the audience. Why? What is it? I, this is pissing me off. This is pissing me off. <laughs> and now a Megan is missing exclusive reenactment. Hey mom, it's me. I'm going to go to the store. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Your trespasses come on me. You know, I think all that this is going to do for anyone is take away all of the seriousness of the fact that a real girl got kidnapped. On March 4th, 2007, two photos of a girl later identified to be Megan Stewart were posted on a website bulletin board. The owner of the website contacted the FBI because of the disturbing nature of the photos. These photos have never been previously released to the public. I don't want to... Been three weeks out. I don't have fuck. What the? F I don't have words for what just happened. I can't show that. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't want to know. Keep it that way. Oh, motherfuck. Tonight, a shocking twist in the case of Megan Stewart. The missing girl's best friend, Amy Herman, has now vanished. I want to shut it off Obviously, now. I want to shut it off. That was crazy. You can't go from that silly, silly, silly little news report and then show pictures like that. And then to have Amy get abducted right after. I'm not okay. Amy Herman. Not the pink ribbon campaign. Do something. Their <laughs> friends have started mad. a campaign. Yeah, put some fucking on tissue on the tree trunk. Code. That'll help. Earlier today, I spoke with Amy's parents. We believe in our hearts that she's well. We love you and we're praying for you. Following is a short piece of news footage not previously broadcast. Because <gasps> they, what, they found something here? Also, you're telling me that you're not gonna broadcast the one important piece? Frank, get the camera. What? On March 12, 2007, Amy Herman's video camera was found in a trash container near the forest. What? Oh, the camera. Oh, and there's footage of him taking her on the camera. Footage of a man believed to be Josh found on Amy Herman's video camera. I don't need a replay of that. I saw that earlier. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Following are the final 22 minutes of footage from Amy Herman's camera, unedited and unaltered. 
Why? Why is this being recorded? She went back to the forest and threw the camera away after filming this. Help me! Help me! I want to shut it off. I want to shut it the fuck off. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Why are you doing this to me? Where is Megan? She's here. I want to see her. I don't, baby. I don't think she's alive. Oh, let me go. I'm going to let you go. I can't do this. I can't do 22 minutes of this. Please, Josh. Oh, honey. His name I is not go. Josh. You're crazy. My name's not Josh. No. Where the fuck are they? I don't want to sit through this. I don't want to sit through this. Dinner time. You have to eat your dinner if you want to stay healthy. Oh, I want this man to die and I I bet he doesn't get caught. I bet it's very Poughkeepsie tips like killer doesn't get caught. He took the fucking bear. I hate him. Billy! <laughs> oh my God. I don't have anything to say other than I hate it over and over and over again. <laughs> what is that barrel? Oh no, 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 no. I can't, I really can't do that. I can't, I can't. They're not gonna show that shit, right? I don't no. want to watch no. this. Oh. I don't feel, uh, there's nothing to say. There's nothing else to say except I don't want to watch this. <laughs> Y'all were right. You get points for being right. This is worse. All I can really say at this point is um, if you haven't watched this movie, don't. I don't say that very often either. It's like if you have, you know, the stomach to watch some, some fucked up things, I don't usually steer you away from a movie. Don't watch this. <laughs> What the fuck is with the barrel? Wait, is there something in the barrel? Is she gonna go in the barrel? I saw Breaking Bad. <laughs> what are you doing? We're going home. You wanna go home? Oh, sweetie, you're not going home. Just knowing that this is unedited and unaltered, I should have started keeping track of the time because it was 22 minutes worth of this bullshit. I don't know how long it's been, but I feel like we still haven't. <sighs> can't possibly survive in that for very long, right? I love you, John. We're perfect together. I just want it to end. I want it to be over. What do you want me to do? I'm so sorry. Honey, Amy, baby, sweetie, you didn't do anything. <laughs> Disgust set to the side. I do think it was a pretty smart move to do like 22 minutes of unedited footage. Cause like, it's just so uncomfortable. And you know, there's like a, there's a time when it's gonna stop. <laughs> you know there is, cause there's only 22 minutes and yet it feels so unbelievably long. I don't feel like this is going to end. I feel like I'm going to be uncomfortable for the rest of my life. <laughs> Just for effect, uh, it's been, I mean, probably at least a straight five minutes of her pleading in every kind of way that she can while he digs a giant hole. And I can't include five straight minutes, nor would I ever torture anyone with that <laughs> information. Again, don't watch this movie, <laughs> but that's what's happening. Answer me. I'm so sorry. I love you too. Oh, he got out of the hole. You know what that means. We're going in the hole. No one love you as much as me. Oh, I love you. No. We knew it was coming. No. I... No. We knew it was coming. It did not make it no. easier. No. No. I don't know that I have ever willed a movie to end faster than this. I really do be thinking I'm brave enough for this shit, and I am not. No! 
Oh, I, j I just hate the sound. Her, her, her sounds just getting quieter and quieter. Please, it has to be close to 22 minutes at this point. I can't do it anymore. Oh my God, it's just full silence now. Is he gonna lead them to the bodies? Because obviously he leaves the camera where it's gonna be found. Is he gonna make it so that they could find the barrel? <laughs> That's the fucking end? Cool, thanks for upsetting me deeply uh, and probably permanently. <laughs> um, Y'all were right, like that was a lot more difficult to watch than the Poughkeepsie tapes. I think the very, very drastic moment of showing the photographs is the moment of realizing like, holy shit, this is what it is. I wanted it to end. I wanted it to end. That's kind of, that's where my brain has been at for 22 minutes, mind you. I'm not upset that I've seen it. I think, you know, I kind of always know a little bit what I'm signing up for by being like, oh, everybody says this movie is so disturbing, then I have to sort of eat the chow, right? <laughs> and I think there are some like interesting storytelling devices used in this. The, the unedited 22 minutes is a like visceral slow burn of like audience participation torture. <laughs> As much as I didn't enjoy it while I was in it is incredibly useful as a tool to make people uncomfortable. We got there. We did it. I'm going to go try to rinse my brain of this movie.